Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the world of Roblox and one of its most controversial games. It's gonna be Pets Go. People had a strong opinion on this one. So why do so many players say they hate it but yet can't really stop playing it? I mean, the player count speak for itself. All right, let's dive in. So Pets Go is one of Roblox's latest pet simulation game and it's no ordinary pet collector. Instead of hatching eggs like in most games that we know on Roblox, Pets Go relies on RNG or random number generation. Players roll virtual dice to get pets, hoping for those ultra rare finds. My girlfriend actually hatched a 1.8 billion, which is actually quite wild, and I got up to a 550 million. This randomness makes the game feel like a mix of chance and luck rather than skill. Sounds simple enough, right? Well, here's the twist. That randomness means some people end up rolling again and again and again, often without the payout that they were hoping for. So why do so many people have a love-hate relationship with pets going? Well, first of all, it's RNG. Rolling for pets means that sometimes you get a rare pet that you want, but most of the time you're stuck with the same, same old commons. This luck-based mechanic frustrates players who want more control over what they get. But there's more. In Pets Go, the odds aren't just against you, they're monetized. Players can buy in-game currency or Robux to improve their chances. And with rare pets often tied to spending real money, it's no surprise that players call this pay to win. It's become a point of frustration, especially amongst younger players who can't afford spending Robux or even buying them at all. Many players feel they have to pay if they want to keep up with their friends or even make meaningful process. I can tell you that I've been part of it as well. This paywall is a big part on why some Roblox fans really dislike Pets Go. So if players are so frustrated, why do they keep coming back? This is where the psychology comes into play. The game uses what's called a variable reward schedule, which is the same type of mechanism used in gambling. You never know when the next roll will give you the pet that you want, which makes each attempt feel thrilling. Even if you're frustrated, that chance of winning big keeps you hooked. This system where rewards were giving out randomly actually makes players more likely to keep playing. It's a classic psychological tactic that gives just enough rare pets to keep everyone grinding, even when they're frustrated most of the time. Another reason people stay hooked? Well, social influence. Pets Go has a huge online community and there's a strong sense of competition. Seeing others show off their rare pets can make players want to keep keep trying even if they're annoyed by the process. This pressure is real and for a lot of players it's hard to ignore. Plus, there's FOMO fear of missing out. Pets Go is constantly updating with limited time events and exclusive pets. Players feel like if they stop playing, they will miss out on something cool and in the world of Roblox, nobody wants to be left behind. So there you have it. Pets Go might be a game that people love to hate, but thanks to a mix of gambling-like mechanics, social competition and FOMO, players keep coming back. Sure, it can feel unfair or frustrating, but for many, the thrill of getting that rare pet or the social boost of showing it off is enough to keep most of the people coming back for more. So what do you think? Do you play Pets Go or are you one of those people who quit because of the frustration? Let me know in the comments. Before I made this video, I actually was a little frustrated of the game as well because I kind of started to hate the game, but I still kept coming back. That's why I wanted to make a little bit of a psychological analysis on, on Pets Go. So Here you go. I think that's the reason why we all come back to it. I check the updates out every single week. They're super consistent. It's a big, big game studio and Preston can dearly take my money. Kinda. Until I won't have any anymore. Until I will drop into a dark abyss of nothingness.